You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. He wasn't a bad guy. A lot of folks might not have always agreed. Maybe even me. We should go. Right behind you. Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. He was what passes for a friend now. I understand. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Good. Thanks. Whatever your best is, I'll trust it. That's all you can do. Fuck! Be careful across here. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. You never know where the next meal is. Be careful through here. Yeah, we don't need any more accidents. I'm sorry. It's okay. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Are you okay? 
fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? I'll figure something out. There's not a ton of options. What are you doing? Lee! I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is civil. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. 
That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the you're... taking? Do you know what you took from me? Don't you start on who took what from who. I didn't take her from you. I rescued her from you. Don't you get that? <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? No. That's not true. What about your wife? I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. It's not my fault. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I was trying to find someplace safe for her. You lied to her about who you really are. It wasn't the right time to tell her. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. We were starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! How could you know all this? <sighs>